All right, you two, you two, what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D P O V, and we are here, man. Uh, I definitely want to hear what Kwame got to say about this whole Aaron Rodgers thing because y'all know I made a video yesterday and I highlighted how Stephen A. Smith, he always go off when, you know, black people or, you know, get caught lying or do something, you know, get caught with the police or just doing anything bad, right? When black people get caught, Stephen A. Smith just goes off. He screams, he yells, he, he, he says that... We should be grateful and, and stay off the weed. And he makes all these comical, you know, lines about black people. But when Aaron Rodgers got caught lying, he was very calm, very cool, collective. And, you know, he didn't really give, give that same energy to Aaron Rodgers as he does to the black athletes. So I definitely want to hear what the homie Kwame Brown got to say about this. Let's get it. And I watched it. All right, all right, all right. Because oh. I got to go get my hair cut. Drinking my tea. Uh, Damn D asked me to do this video. Salute. And I watched it. All right, all right, all right, man. Hold on. Let me uh, get to the part where Stephen A start buck dancing. Because Stephen A, I've just got a question, sir. Mm -hmm. Why is it that when it's the black players, you want a specific answer? Mm -hmm. When LeBron, brother LeBron said, hey, you know, I got the Vax and, you know, I got the juggernaut, the donut shop. And, you know, I want other people to do whatever their family wants to do. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever is good for them and their family, which is sound advice. So that was good advice. Kudos to you, LeBron. But I knew that was going to get him a little backlash and it did. They started running it over the media saying, why wouldn't he just come out and tell people this? He should have said a little more. He should have said this and that. Now, in this clip, because I kept saying, why haven't we asked Aaron Rodgers? Why haven't we asked Tom Brady? Because white boys are above a guy like Stephen A. Mm -hmm. Stephen A is their little whipping dog. And he bet not ever ask a white man with the stature of Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady anything that'll fuck up their brain. Mm -hmm. And you can tell how soft shoe his little bitch ass was <laughs> when he even found out that Aaron Rodgers was only uh, immunized or something like that. He didn't even say, yes, I took the donut shop. He said, I, yes, I've been immunized or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But you asked all these players specifically to say what they were, and they yep. were all black. Yep. Still think I'm crazy? <laughs> I told you. They don't respect us in a way that we have to follow whatever narrative. White boys can still be men. You guys keep saying, don't make it white and black. This Tommy punk keep talking about, he always talking about white boys. No, I'm always seeing the effects of being white and the effects of being black in the media in the way Completely they different. the story. Sorry, you can't see it, brother. But Completely different. It's Josh Gordon or it's anybody else, uh, uh, Carcino just did the thing of how Stephen A was talking about Johnny Manziel and how he was talking about our brother, Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon didn't get the benefit of trying to get rehab and trying to get help. Mm -hmm. You said he's smoking weed. You went crazy. You, you, you acted like you was mad, like you was chastising him. Like back in the day, how the principal, the white principal used to make the mama come up there and whip the kid ass in front of the principal, in front yep. of the teachers to make them feel better about the way they behave. Yeah, that's what you seem to be doing to these black players. Because you didn't do that to Manziel. Oh, maybe he just wanted to get out of, um, you know, Cleveland. It's sad, but it's sad y'all can't see. Oh, I and see. Maybe it. you do see, but maybe see you it. enjoy laughing so much at black athletes and black players because we now have a sector of people who did not even make it in sports, but they'll be the first ones to laugh and critique a player that got higher on the same sport than they did. Mm -hmm. So I don't see what the fuck's so funny. I don't see why you guys get to make the rules on what anyone is called. If someone is a bus and you didn't get there, then you just a flop. Or what's the lowest? What's lower than a bus? Because I don't get what's going on now. I don't see nobody picking on white players and bringing up their their careers ten years, fifteen years down the line. Ben Roethlisberger did the same thing, allegedly, to Sean Watson, and Facts. he's the quarterback, and he don't have that brought up all the time. Nope. He gets to live a full life. He will get to move on from that and be a full-bodied man. 
a black man get a hangnail or his baby mama say something <laughs> and the rest of his life is attached to that. Yep, Are forever. you nuts? Is this is what we're going to do to all black men? We're going to find something that he don't do perfect. Because just like Carcino said, and just like everybody else could see, Lamar Jackson has been doing his fucking thing. Does he get the credit that he deserves? Nope. Absolutely not. Because that's not a, a, a position that a black man should feel. A lot of people think that. And sorry you don't know that. See, Aaron Rodgers, see, us black males, we're doxxed by our daddy. Look at what all the YouTubers keep saying about me. I was the number one draft pick in spite of my daddy, and those people knew that. They knew what my daddy did, and that's why they treated and negotiated with me in such ways. He don't come from a lineage that we have to respect. See, I should have been thankful I got there. I just wasn't because I earned it. See, you can't tell somebody that has practiced as much as I did, that has sacrificed as much as I did, that told my mama, it's okay, I'm going to buy you a house, and I did it. See, you can't tell me that that's you did it. That was me. See, Thanks. I don't give a fuck what my daddy did. That don't have nothing to do with me. Every man got their own sin. They're not going to have me at the pearly gates. Jesus Christ, from what I've been told, not going to have me at the pearly gates and say, you're going to go with your daddy or whatever he did. No, they're going to judge me Facts. for what the fuck, the works that I do. Facts. And I think I do great works. <laughs> That's why you keep talking about my daddy. But see, Aaron Rodgers Jr., Tom Brady Jr., they come from something. See, we keep having our children in a position from behind. So, They're Charles, watching appreciate everything that, that we do and where we're from. Tom Brady's son will guarantee be a quarterback from Little League all the way through wherever his talent oh, takes yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Trust me. And the football coaches and everybody will make sure of that. Aaron Rodgers' son will be the same way. What about your black son? That you know his arm is better than the co uh, coach's son, but you don't got no power to get, to get, him, get him in the quarterback spot. How many times has this happened? So, no, we're not going to praise Lamar Jackson. We're not going to praise no Cam Newton. We're not going to praise that. We're going to always talk about something that they can't do. They don't talk about what Tom Brady can't do. He can't run a fucking lick. He's slow as molasses. I'll beat him going backwards. <laughs> but can I throw like him? Hell no. But they don't keep bringing up that Tom Brady can't run. Thanks. Lamar Jackson can throw and run. What do they talk about? His technique. But when Aaron Rodgers do it, it's just so uh, it's so quirky and good. It's just uh, it's the greatest pass I ever fucking seen. I don't understand. I don't understand. They want all of us to say, "Yeah, motherfucker, get on my show," or I come to his show. He want to tell me what Greg Oden think. Well, that's nice for Greg Oden. <laughs> I don't think that. I think that if they put me and the other person in a race and they give us the same start line and I can prove it because my race started way back here and there's some motherfuckers had mothers, fathers, college funds, everything they needed. And I was in a homeless shelter and not only did I run your ass down, see, I went past what you thought anybody could do because I made history. So you're not going to make me think I'm less than it won't work. And I don't care about a mistake that you tell me about. I don't care about a woman that you tell me about don't like me. I don't care about none of that shit. Because I know what it takes to get here. And all of these black boys, they know what it takes to get to where they got. And it's usually a harder route. We got to dodge the hood. We got to dodge the police. We got to dodge Facts. bullets. We got to dodge your thoughts and what you think. I got to dodge being fitting the fucking description. I got to dodge a lot just to be a fucking man, a successful man. Then when I reach said success, I owe everything to the God in the black community. Mm -hmm. I got to be a spokesperson for a whole entire fucking race. You talking about pressure to be a man. That white boy ain't have to say he got the vaccination. He didn't even have to say it. Uh, I mean, uh, but you bring up every black player and you make them say they status. And if they ain't do what you say they supposed to do, take his contract. Yell, shout, go crazy. Act like they owed you something. Act like they stole something from you, Stephen A. But let's watch how you talk about these guys. Let's see. Facts. MD, let's see how you talk. <laughs> facts, facts. Hey, I got to go. I got to go. I got to run some errands. Shout out to Kwame Brown. I'm going to.
after I come back and get done from what I'm doing, I'm going to come back and I'm going to react to the second part because I think he's going to play my video, man. So uh, I definitely want to hear the second part, but I got to go. I got to run some errands. I got to take care of some business. So I'm definitely going to react to the second part of him. Uh, I'm guessing he's going to watch uh, my video and he's going to react to it. So salute to the homie Kwame Brown. I'm glad he's speaking up on this because I definitely want to hear his perspective. But I... I gotta go real quick. I gotta go handle some business. And when I come back, uh, I will react to the second part. So other than that, man, it's the boy damn D. I don't know how y'all can have a problem with Kwame Brown, man, when when he speaks the truth. Listen to the words. Listen to listen to his message. He's speaking the truth. So I don't know why these people out here just just hating on the man. But you know, it is what it is, man. But other than that, I gotta go and uh, we'll be back with some more videos, man. It's your boy Dan D signing out. Peace.